So this is a game I uh, it's more of a, a you know a hypothetical scenario that sure. I just I want to I want to explore. So sure. it's, this is a game called Superman vs Super Beast. Okay, cool. All right. Now it all I got it. Oh fuck! Dropping my phone. I got the idea because I saw one of these uh, gifts on a, on a friend's wall. And it's one of these gifts where here it's you click through it, you turn yeah. it on, and just like flashes through all these superheroes, and um, and then it says, uh, you know, first three clicks is who's on your team. The fourth click is who you are. Oh, and you, okay. So you just pick a hypothetical team, yeah. and whatever. That's not what we're doing, but I like the fact that you can just click through all these uh, superheroes, and you just yeah. get random ones. So we're using that tool to come up with this. Okay. All right. So. So this will cycle through a bunch of superheroes. We're going to use this as one of the as the Superman. Okay. All right. And I don't mean Superman, but Superman. So so, oh, okay. so it's like a uh, uh, a mutant or, or a superhero. And I have a list one through ten of badass animals. Okay. That's where the super beast comes in. Then we're going to give that super animal a superpower. And then pit them against and pit them the against superhero, each other. and like I have to say who would win. And we're going to talk about who legitimately you think would win. Awesome, let's All do right. it. Okay, so first one. Here we go. Let me turn this on. You tell me when to click. Okay. Uh, click. Okay, so we are well, not we. The the superhuman is the Flash. Okay, cool. Okay, they're the Flash. Give me one through ten. Uh three. Okay, three. It's a hippopotamus <laughs> with the powers. Which would be actually be already, that's the perfect supervillain for the Flash. Because what villain is the best? Why is the Joker such a great villain for Batman? He's the opposite of Batman. Hmm. So why is a hippo a good villain for the Flash? It's not. But <laughs> <laughs> it is just a dumb animal, but it's slow. It's a good base. It's a good, it's a good starting point. Now, give me one through fifteen. Oh, okay. Uh, let's say seven. Okay, seven. This is the power that the hippo All has. Right. He has the same power <laughs> as Professor X. <laughs> so he's a telekinetic hippo. <laughs> okay, if he's just a hippo with telekinetic powers, then what exactly are those telekinetic powers doing? Yeah, Making let's fish talk about swim it. into his mouth. Right. What does a hippo want? Is he smarter than a hippo? He's a hippo. He's just a hippo, yeah. but he happens to have telekinetic powers. Yes. So basically what happens is if a boat flies into his lake near his young, then it, like, his telekinetic yeah, his powers instincts will flip kick, it over. Yeah, his, king, it'll, it'll, his instincts will kick in and push it away. All right? I know how the Flash can defeat this enemy. How? Just don't go near it because <laughs> if you leave a hippo alone, it will leave you alone. A hippo's not committing crime in Central City. Right, right. But, I mean, is the Flash fast enough to, like, knock it out, though, without the hippo really knowing? Um, here's one thing the Flash can do. Yeah. He can run. He If he were facing off against telekinetic hippo. Yep. Professor X hippo. <laughs> Professor X hippo. Yeah. He could, let's say, if he were facing it, the hippo was coming at him. Yeah. He could then take off away from the hippo and run around the world, increasing his speed at an exponential rate. Okay. And punch the hippo. As he comes through on his last run and probably knock it out because of all the momentum he's gathered up running around the world. Keep in mind that if this were a person of at least average intelligence with telekinetic powers, they might be able to mount an attack. All the hippo would do is lash wildly and not understand what's going on <laughs> with his telekinetic powers. Right, it wouldn't know what's happening. Yeah. So stuff would just be flying around that isn't even affecting the flash. <laughs> right, right. It would still like th things would be moving, but it's just yeah. whatever it sees, it's just like trees, trees are getting ripped up and then and, and like yeah, and, and dirt's just flying. Yeah. So I think the flash could handle Professor X Hippo handle. Alright, flash wins. Okay, cool. Awesome. Alright, next one, uh, tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, uh, Storm. Cool. Is the uh, superhuman. Aurora. Aurora. I think you, I think you pronounced it wrong. Aurora. Aurora. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. you're right. Thanks. All right. I'm one through, one through ten. Sorry, it's not a uh, name of an African god. It's, it's it's the sound you make when you've got a sucker in your mouth and are trying to talk trying, to a friend. Yeah, and you're trying to answer answer somebody on the phone. Yeah. Aurora. Oh hello. <laughs> oh hello. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, now you sound like Kim Jong Il from uh, <laughs> Team America. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it's a racist character. Um, so it's Uhura versus Uhura. Uh, Did you just say Uhura? Yep. We move back to Star Trek now. Yeah. No, Uhura can control the weather. Okay, so Storm. Yes. Versus one through ten. Give me a one through ten. Uh, let's go ten. Okay, a crocodile. Okay, cool. Okay, so Storm versus Croc. Now again. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and make a prediction. Okay. The heroes are never going to lose. <laughs> well, we'll because see. Because they are at least human intelligence with powers, and these are all, regardless of the power that we give this crocodile. Yeah. It's still a crocodile. True, but they're still they have eyes, they have instincts, they they can they have jaws. <laughs> That's your justification you know, for intelligence. They have eyes, Evan. I mean, they're not blind. They're not just, you know, they don't they they still ha- see a stimulus and they get have a reaction and sure. they you know, because Storm can't run away. Storm's got to attack it. Okay, sure. All right, so give me a 1 through 15. Uh, let's say 11. 11. Okay, so this crocodile has the powers of the Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, what is a crocodile creating with its mind? Anything it wants, my friend. Anything yeah, it wants. what would it want to create? I will fight you, crocodile. Oh, look, a fish I can eat. Yeah, it would make its food. <laughs> it would make food it wants and then not Just be able to cut, eat it. Yeah, and it'd be like, I've been eating for hours and I'm still hungry. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with me? All right, Evan. Yeah. Who wins? Uh,. See. They're in okay. They're in a field. We're pitting storm against a crocodile that was somehow chosen by the Green Lantern Corps. <laughs> yeah. Now, does Green Lantern have like you know the same way Superman has like Super Horse and Super Dog or something? Is there are, does so. Green Lantern have any animals? I don't think so. Just a bunch of weird aliens and a human. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So it's got a it's got a ring around its neck. What what happens? <laughs> All right. Well. Storm would obviously immediately go to her, you know, lightning. It's it's very effective. Yeah. Um. Then the crocodile would counter with nothing <laughs> because it doesn't understand that it has the most powerful thing in the universe. It would just be lightly submerged underwater with a <laughs> ring around its neck that it doesn't use. Because it has no imagination whatsoever. And it's not real sure what's going on. It just knows that it wanted to eat Storm a second ago. Now it's being struck by lightning. (laughs) And it does nothing to defend itself. Because it doesn't understand the concept of, I don't know, a shield that it can use its power to generate. So it just kind of sits there in the water. Like, Storm is hanging out next to a lake. And then the crocodile jumps up and she's like, oh, fuck a crocodile. And she flies up and then the crocodile's like, oh, my food's gone. So it resubmerges itself in the water. Right. Even though it has the power of the Green Lantern. And then Storm shocks the water around it with a lightning bolt. Boom. Crocodile's dead. Mm. Storm wins. Okay. So Storm wins. Yeah. Storm. I think Storm handily wins that battle. <laughs> Perfect. All right, round three. <clears throat> yep. Say stop. <laughs> okay. Stop. Star Lord. Okay. Star Lord. Star Lord. Now this could be interesting because he's kind of just a dude. Isn't he just a guy? Yeah, he doesn't really have any powers. He's got a gun and a face. He's got shield. a gun and a face thing. Yeah. Okay, Star Lord. <clears throat> um. Now give me a one through ten. Uh, eight. Okay, eight. Shark. Oh. Ooh. Now, this is interesting. Okay, Star-Lord versus Shark. Now, give me a 1 through 15. Okay, um, let's say 2. Okay, Shark with the power of Beast. This is interesting. Honestly, honest to God, this is interesting. Because if Star-Lord were going up against a shark, one would assume he is in the ocean. He's in the ocean. He's got to go where the shark is. So he's at a disadvantage. Yeah. Now, you get a shark, which is already a formidable opponent if you're a human being in the water. Mm Mm-hmm. You give that shark basically increased animal strength, agility, uh, 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 ferocity, intelligence. Inte- well, well, uh, well, Hank the McCoy beast's was powers already- don't make him smarter. He just happens to be a He's smart guy. He's already smart. You're right. My who bad. Who also has the powers of animals. 
So he's still just a shark. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do it. Shark wins. Okay. Cuz Br- what's, what's Star-Lord going to do? Try and kick it or shoot a gun at it? He can shoot if a gun. Has, I don't know if his gun works underwater. If it has Yeah, you might not. And then if it has super agility, it's just going to move out of the way anyway. It's going to Yeah, it's going to be faster than a shark, stronger than a regular shark. This is genuinely interesting. Shark wins. Star Lord cut in half. Awesome. Okay, Shark wins. I would I would agree. Shark wins. Nothing against Star Lord, but he is just a dude. He's kind of just a dude. Yeah. All right. Round four. You having fun with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Hawkeye. Okay. Hawkeye versus. See, this could be interesting as well because he is really just a dude who just also happens to be an excellent marksman. Right. Okay, give me a one through three. Ten. Three. No, you did that already. Oh, did I? Uh, let's go nine. Nine. Cape Buffalo. A buffalo. So a big old, like, like not, just just, a not just a buffalo, but like the buffalo that you're thinking of, like, has the horns go down. This has got, like, horns that go up. Ooh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. What am I talking about? It's a buffalo. All right, it's a buffalo. But it's not just a buffalo, Evan. Yeah. It's a buffalo with this power. Yes, and that power is... So I haven't done three on this list yet, so do three. With the power of invisibility. Interesting. Again, how is the buffalo able to use that power? See, that is something that no, could no, no. absolutely be instinctual. Right. That it the can, buffalo it, wouldn't have to put a lot of mental ability into it's the same way like when a, uh, a chameleon changes color. Yeah, so the or the buffalo, same way when a fly jumps up and gets out of the way of the fly, fly swatter. It's, it's just the boom. The only problem is now it is just a buffalo who can turn invisible. Yeah. So Hawkeye has great reflexes. He has arrows of all kinds that can do just about anything he wants them to do. Mm-hmm. And this is a buffalo with the intelligence of a buffalo who can also turn invisible. So he's charging at Hawkeye. He turns invisible. Hawkeye can see the like the dirt. Can move. See the dirt coming up and the hoof marks on the ground. Right. So the buffalo's like, I got him now. Arrow in the head. He's dead. Hawkeye wins. Now get it going for the head specifically. That'd be tough. You know, getting the vital organs that would be a little bit harder. Okay. But he still could just shoot the hell out of that buffalo, like but, but five arrows into him. Before can he, he shoot five? Close. You think is he that quick? Oh yeah, with it? yeah. Before, well, also how, he's got a lot of uh, like he, he's got, he can do like a fucking bl- explode and explosion yeah. arrow. Yes, he can. Bomb. Got, That's the word I was trying to think of. A bomb. Yeah. yeah. A bomb. <laughs> yeah. He's got a lot of specialized arrows. Arrows that could do all different kinds of things. So I'm 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 sorry, man. I'm gonna have to go with the hero again, Hawkeye. Man, I, I thought it'd be... If a- these heroes could be felled by just regular animals, <clears throat> okay, regular what? intelligence animals that <coughs> happen to have a power that they don't understand, <laughs> they wouldn't be much uh, heroes right? in the hero category. Right. They, have to, they know how to use their hero Their ability. Marvel card <clears throat> would be... Their score would be so low. Right. Yeah, he's, got, he's good at shooting arrows, but he's not that good. <laughs> Guess who's in the Avengers? Captain America? Oh, Awesome. Iron Man, amazing. We got Hawkeye. Who? Hmm? Ha- ha- Hawkeye. Is that? Is that the guy? Is that like t- 21st century Robin Hood? <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> no, no, that's Green Arrow. Hawkeye. Oh. <laughs> You're right. Hawkeye has purple on him. Purple. And is that is that the guy that was? Is that the guy that was beaten by the invisible buffalo? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> This would be on their. This I would mean, be in their he, canon. He, oh, this I would, would have be to like, be. Oh, man! I want someone to make all these comics. <laughs> I would love to see all these comics, man. And the heroes always lose. In every one of these comics, the heroes lose. Oh no, no! So let's be realistic. If they, they don't have to lose, but, no, uh, no. I want to see the heroes lose. <clears throat> oh yeah. So they have to deal with the aftermath right. of losing when they got to go back. It's like Storm. What <clears throat> happened to you? You lost an arm. I faced a crocodile. Really? It was a Green Lantern crocodile, though. He made, a, he made a bigger crocodile and ate me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's do another one. Yeah. Tell me when to stop. Uh, one. Okay, well, first off, we're Black, Sorry. We're Black Panther. <laughs> okay, Black Panther. All right. Okay, and one? One, yes. Uh, versus, so he's a, fighting a lion. Ooh, this could be interesting. With the powers of? 13. Aquaman. <laughs> we're so close. 
to being so cool. It's still a lion, though. It is a lion, but if Black Panther can't defeat one lion, again, he des- he re- he deserves to have his hero card revoked. Because he's prob- he's faster than li- he's as fa- he's at least as fast as a lion. He's stronger than a lion. Is he stronger than a lion? He's very strong. He's got claws like and a what lion. Is the, and when the lion is at its weakest point, it's going to call some fish to help. <laughs> Where is a lion in reference to anywhere that fish can? That's the, the joke about Aquaman is he's always, you know, he can talk to fish, but at least Aquaman actually goes to the ocean. Right. A lion's in the middle of the fucking savanna, <laughs> and the Black Panther um, comes up to him, and he's like, I got you now. And then there's just jellyfish and going like across at oh, the he, end of the continent on the other side yeah. of the continent of Africa. Somebody's fishing, and all of a sudden, all these fish just start jumping out of the water. Like the lion's calling us, we gotta go help him. We he gotta just, help this him. This lion's just gonna kill a bunch of fish. And they'll die. They're all the gonna like flap up on the, yeah. on, the, on, the, yeah. on the bank and just starve to death. It was the damnedest thing I ever seen. I'm out there fishing. I don't know why the gentleman fishing in Africa sounds like a gentleman <laughs> fishing in a man-made catfish pond in Greer, South Carolina, <laughs> but he does. He does. I'm just sitting there fishing on my vacation to the continent of Africa, which I'm not native-born in, and then all of a sudden the fish just start jumping out. I'm like, this is my lucky day, but they look like they was going somewhere. And it sounded like they were talking? Yeah. Gotta help Aqualion. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta help him. Anyway, I ate them all up. <laughs> I ate them all. We had we ate good that night. <laughs> but what are the other powers of Aquaman? I mean, now he can talk to fish and all that, but he's got like yeah. a. He, let's just say he's got like this spear hand. Well, that's not a power. His hand got cut off, so he replaced it with a spear. Right. Does that change anything? <laughs> yeah. Okay, in what way? Because the lion needs all four paws to run. So, so now he's limping along with a spear he's hand. Like, kink, kink, he's kink. he's running to, he he gets a good sprint towards Black Panther and all of a sudden he's like <laughs> he falls over because he doesn't know how to run on his spear <laughs> run hand. Run on his spear hand, yeah. <laughs> um okay, what else he's got well, let's just go to, you know, Aquaman. He does have super strength. He's got yeah, so it's a stronger lion. It is a stronger lion. So maybe the strength uh, kind of cancels out. Maybe, but I just feel like in an even in a battle between Black Panther and a lion that had equal to his strength, Black Panther still got the edge in that he's smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a cruel game we're playing? You think? No, we're I just, think it's cruel. We're just killing animals. Is that well? It's not like you brought a lion here and said, hey, "Pretend to be Black Panther and kill this lion." <laughs> true, true, true. Um, it's all imaginary. It's all imaginary. I would like to think the Black Panther would try to avoid killing a lion if he could no no like, it's, they're endangered it's to the d evan it's to the d yeah but he's probably in self-defense on his part true uh black panther wins black panther we'll do one more of these all right one more yes unless you want to do a couple more we'll do one at least we'll do one. one more we'll do one more because i have a game myself jason i love it tell me when uh stop okay the joker Ooh, again this really could be interesting Okay, the Joker, verse. Give me a number. Uh, eight. Eight. You already did eight. Did I? Yeah. Okay. Uh, six. Six, an elephant. Ooh. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. With the power of. Um, Have I done one yet on the power list? Nope. One. An elephant. So the Joker versus an elephant with the power of Silver Surfer. Elephant wins, hands down. Well, don't just say that. Talk it out. What happens? Silver Surfer's got immense cosmic power. Again, the elephant needs to know how to use it. <laughs> right? Is he going to be able to get on? But the elephants big are surf- very smart. They're if super smart. They can use once once they. I saw an elephant put some garbage in a trash can. Yeah, that's a sign of intelligence. It's a sign of you know environmental <laughs> consciousness. You know, like yeah. It, I'll it, put it, this it, thing it, in that it thing. It knows that the, means I'm smart enough to beat a maniacal genius. <laughs> <laughs> but if it were smart enough to know how to... Because really, the difference between something like a crocodile with Green Lantern's power yep. and an elephant with Silver Surfer's power uh-huh. is that, first of all, you have to have an imagination to use Green Lantern's power. With Silver right. Surfer's power, you could fly, you'd have super strength, invulnerability. That's true. He's pretty invulnerable. He's pretty invulnerable. And you just shoot cosmic rays out of its trunk or something... An elephant, if it had cosmic powers, could figure out how to at least shoot stuff. 
Right. It, it'll, it, let's just say it's it's had this power for a while. So, yeah. Yeah. It's like an elephant has to learn how to use its trunk. It has to learn how to use its immense cosmic power. It learned how to walk. It learned how to fly. It learned how to fly. It learned how to shoot shit. So I'm going to say elephant wins this round. The Joker guy has no chance. What's the Joker? Like, what's his first move? Uh, Big gun. Yeah. Big weird big gun. gun. Uh, uh, laugh uh, a couple. Laugh a, a little. A pie <laughs> with a small bomb in it. <laughs> but you're right. There's nothing the Joker can do to it. Like, you know. I mean, he could kill the elephant, but. He'd have a, like, there's a reason that they've never done a Marvel DC Silver Surfer versus Joker crossover. Right. Silver Surfer would annihilate him. He'd just kind of burn him up. Yeah. Oh, or, yeah. Or, or cosmic burn him up. Without whatever. a doubt. Yeah. So, yes. Elephant wins. <sighs> Elephant wins. All right. So, let's look at, so, um, Superman versus Super Beast. It's, uh, one, one, two... Three, four, five to two. Yeah. So that's not a good record for the animals. But again, we'll play this game again. If heroes sometime. can't defend themselves against <laughs> regular intelligence animals, regardless yeah. of their power. Yeah. Especially ones that, like, you know, you had the Superman versus the Super Gorilla, mm-hmm. which could be interesting because a gorilla is a smart creature. As well as already a very powerful creature, you give it the powers of Superman and knows how to use them. It's a problem. But again, like not to beat a dead horse, but Crocodile with the powers of the Green Lantern, you really need an imagination to use that power. Right. So that was a handicap for the Crocodile. It kind of didn't do much for it. <laughs> it really didn't do anything. It's just, a, it's just a bedazzled Crocodile. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, well, awesome. I have Good a game. Good game. Till next time.